Hey guys, how you doing? This is LaQueen Terry Battle here from Upstate New York in Syracuse, New York at SUNY OCC Library. I've got about five more minutes left in this um, this space, media space that they're letting me use. But I just wanted to let you know you should check out my YouTube videos. I am doing research. It is Black History Month. I am starting a lot of research. I'm involved. I'm doing some child development classes as well as some drug addiction classes here at SUNY OCC. So I'm, I'm gladly to be a part involved with Black History Month and also to to do this, to do that, just pretty much dig in where I can. So um, I did have a little bit of eye irritation today for some bad toner makeup. So just guys, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I'm trying to get my life together, housing, a job, school education, and do what I can do just to keep moving and moving and moving. But just to make it brief and clear for you, I am doing some research on the word, the word, the word, the abbreviation, the definition, the suffix, the prefix, the word nigger. Okay. As you know, this is a really um, negative, negative, negative word that has been used against us as a people for centuries and centuries and centuries and centuries of years and there's all different kind of abbreviations um, that you can take from this word right here okay this word there's so there's so there's so much so much research just on this word by itself this word right here and just just the the, the suffix the origin of the word you can take it to other words just the origin of this word you can take it and then G G R E means pertaining to the 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 origin of the word is N-I-G, and it means a Latin king. So y'all should, it means an um, old past, a royal Egyptian king, um, a royal king from Africa whose name was King Nagus. So I'm doing research just on, this, on the prefix of the origin right here, just on this prefix, just on the origin of the word right here, just on this subject right here, just the, just the prefix of the word right here, just on this right here. I know maybe I raised my mind a little bit, but just right here of the origin of the word, the word, the base word, the base of the word. And then you can divide it up into N-I-G, you can divide it up into N-I-G, and then it goes on and on. And my, hi Mitch, how you doing? So pretty much I've started a little bit on the research here, trying to get to the origin of the word and the prefix and the suffix, suffix and the base. And then right here in the G-R, it goes in pretty much pretty much means pertaining to. So I got about five more minutes left in this library today before they shut down. So pretty much, guys, I am on Twitter, I am on Facebook, I am on YouTube, as well as LinkedIn and and Puck and SoundCloud. So pretty much all of these are the some of the origins of the word that I got to pretty much. I'm going back to all my, my 80s days and my 90s days and my 70s, going back to Howard University and all the culture shock I had with, with the Qs and with the Kappas and with the AKAs and with the Deltas. And all my roommates at Howard University was Deltas. They didn't, they didn't let me know, but all of them were going to pledge Delta. All of them were a little bit darker skin, darker skin tone than me. But they all were going to pledge Delta in the spring semester, and I had to leave before the spring semester before they pledged. So that's how they worked out. I was in Howard University in fall of 2004, in fall of 2003 when I graduated from Eastern Hills and got a scholarship, like a little bit of scholarship to go to Howard University and I got approval from the city of Fort Worth. I got all these recommendations just to become a student at Howard University. So hip hip hooray. Okay, go Howard Bisons. And I was always in the library. I was in the undergrad, li undergrad student library and always in the founder's library. Researching, go to law school library, researching, 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 figure out what my people are. And this is what my people are. We've been told that we're negative. We've been told that we're less than we've been, we've been told that we're not equal to. And just a word that was used to be to be meant for a world to be to be meant for kings has been used against us. Pertaining to our behavior, our behavior, we're gonna call you to de denate, to denigrate your name. And take away your power, take away your authority from being a royal, from being having royal blood and kings and queens and jewels and diamonds and silver and gold. We're going to take it away from you. Take it away from your history, take it away from your origin. And then we're going to not only denigrate you and your family and your kids, but every single word, every single word in the, the English vocabulary from the 1800s up until now, anybody that can even speak of you or your people knows that you are less than you will never be equal to a white man a white woman. You will always be less than or are, are not equal to anybody. So not only will you, we will enslave you in the 1800s, but we will also enslave you by the words of, of humankind for the rest of eternity. And that's how it works. People don't know that people, they not only enslave them by physical, physical means, by chains, but they also enslave you by your mind and also enslave you by your language too. So you have to watch sometimes how people talk. They not only enslave you by the length, by physical means, chains and cups and whips and ropes, they enslave you by language throughout time. 
I got three of this bulletin board. We're trying to make it quick because they're about to shut down. I can go go on. They are said by these words: negate, negation, negative, neglect, negligence, negligent, negligible. And it goes right here. All, the, all the um, all the the origins of the word from nigger right here. N I G. And it's old English and Latin. But it came from the king that gets in, in Ethiopia. So you can make as many abbreviations as the suffix right here. You can turn the suffix, just the origin of the word, into anything you want. People don't even know that you're related to the black people, the black race. So you can turn this word N-I-G to N-G-U, and N-G-U and N-G-A is, an, is a masculine and the feminine abbreviation of royalty, of African royalty. And then from this origin, this word origin, this word base, you can turn just these word base, N-G-U and N-G-A, you can turn it to meaning an English word, to mean nag, to constantly, constantly cry with somebody, and that's a negative word. To mean neg, you can turn that into neg, N-E-G, which means less than or not equal to. Then neg, to neg somebody. These are all the base, word bases of plenty of thousands and thousands of English words that are probably not even in the dictionary. But the word bases of all these words right here come from the word base of this, of this word, the, of the black race, of the black people. Just this word base over by itself. Just this word base, this origin word base, just by itself. I got about five minutes left. They're about to close down. Just the word base of this word right here. You can change it to anything you want, to any word in the English vocabulary. You can not even make, make something less than you can nigg it, nog it, and nug it. And make these words right here. I put suffixes on the end of these words and change them to any word in the English vocabulary. Just, just the suffixes of these words. These are the sub, the origin, the word bases, and then you can turn these word bases to anything in the English vocabulary in the dictionary. And then any any of these word bases, you can relate to the English people, to the black, to the black people, the black race. And then in order to break that curse, yeah, I got about two minutes. Thank you. In order to break that curse, you have to go over here and you have to find the opposite of that. And to claim authority over that curse. That's what I was trying to say in my Twitter today. You have to take away that curse and, and dignify it. Give it give it honor. Give it meaning. To take away the nig the nigg the nigg of it. And you have to turn it into dignifying it. Not nigifying it, but di dignifying it. Anything like starting with D, D I G means to give grace to. I give you grace. I don't curse you, I give you grace to continue on to your path. So you can dignify something that means you give somebody grace, you honor them, you humble them. To give get dignity to somebody, you give grace more to them in the process. And to give dignation to somebody, that means you give honor, you give loyalty where loyalty is due. You honor them in their position of staff. So negate, to negate something, the opposite of negate, negate is to dignify, dignate, to dignify. The opposite of negate is to dignify something. See how those opposites are? You can negate something, and you can dign dign dignate something. And they're completely polar opposites, but they still relate to the same origin of the word of the black race. So the library is about to close. I'm going to have to get more with you guys tomorrow as well. I have been doing a lot of research. I just want you guys to take a look at what I have right here. This is the first board that I have right here on the research behind the word nigger, the origin, the origin of the word, which meant to keen, I guess. And, and the kingdom of Ethiopia, he was the last king of kings. And this is the second bulletin board I have right here. This is the second. Can you guys see it a little bit higher? There we go. So here's the second board I've done on the origin of the word nigger. And this pertains to the origin of the word N-I-G. N-I-G. So this is the second bulletin board. You can relate to more English words as night, niggling, nightshade, and also right here to unify something. And then also the third, the third, the third bulletin board I have is the library is about to close. The third bulletin board I have is right here. And to nag something means to nigg it, to nag it. That's another base of the word nigger. And I have other other words. To nag something means to is Swedish and Norwegian. So to nag something when you call somebody a naga, that means they're gnawing at you, they're biting on you, or they're hurting somebody. When you call somebody a naga. It's old. It's old, like old Louisiana, old New Orleans talk, old Southern talk. When you call somebody a nigger. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And then right here, it's nagada, nigger. All these, all these base words of it.
usually when you're referring to somebody as a nigga, usually most of the time you're trying to tell them no. And that comes from the word base of nigga right here. All right, the library is, the library is kicking me out right now. <laughs> but I still have a lot to do. I just started. I just started a little bit of my research. And I just started. So I, I've done three boards already. <laughs> So bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and give it a call of a night out. I love you guys. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and your prayers. I love you guys. Keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I love you so much. I'll talk to you more later. Catch up on the research more later. Okay, bye.